So again, timing is very important and we're going to take our hand and just mark when he comes in to touch it. Now, at this point, he doesn't understand what I'm asking. He's just coming in and looking to eat some food. Hi, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and we've got Sprig and we are ready for his next training session. Sprig is eight weeks old and if you got to see his last session, we started by charging the clicker. Now, he didn't 100% get that idea in the first session, so we ended up repping that over the next few meals, like we talked about. We try and do all of their training sessions with their meals, especially at this age. It, helps, it really helps us to keep on a good, consistent training schedule and help them to see um, not only value in working for their food, um, which is a very natural thing for dogs to do, but it gives us a pretty good incentive. They're ready to eat, they're focused, and ready to work. So we are here with Sprig and his next meal, getting ready to get started. We're gonna do a few reps to show charging the clicker still, and then show you um, what we're looking for to know that the clicker is in fact charged and we're ready to start training. So we will get ready with this guy. I'm gonna grab a few kibble here and my clicker. All right, buddy. So again, all we're doing is clicking and feeding him. Now we've done quite a few reps with this. I said we did his last four meals this way. So he's not only very good at this game, but is pretty excited about the opportunity to eat food because it's time for his breakfast. Good boy. So we've done a few reps. Now he's gonna stay pretty focused on me, but I'm gonna stand up, try and give him the opportunity to get distracted, wander off so that we can click to see if he pays attention to that. And that's how we're gonna know when the clicker is charged properly and ready to go. I wanna make sure that you'll be able to see his reaction in this. Good, so instantly when I clicked, he spun around looking to me for that reward. That's a, it's a clear indication that he knows that the click itself is a positive thing and that there's a food reward coming for him. Now, the first thing that we're going to teach him is, uh, we call it target here. That is to build a, the beginning stages of developing the recall or hear behavior. And how we do that uh, is just marking him coming in and touching our hand. Good, and then the food comes afterward. Now, we talked about to beginning, um, we talked about to begin with that we need to charge the clicker. Now it's gonna be important now from here on out, our timing, timing is super important. The clicker, now that it's charged, can be used to take a snapshot, basically, and show the dog right there at that second. That's what I'm looking for, and you did a great job. So, what we're going to do now is mark the second he does whatever we're looking for. In this situation, it's gonna to be touching my hand. This is a really easy transition because I just fed him a whole bunch of food over the last four, coming on five sessions now, right out of my hand. He's used to eating it and he's excited and ready to do that. So again, timing is very important and we're going to take our hand and just mark when he comes in to touch it. Now, at this point, he doesn't understand what I'm asking. He's just coming in and looking to eat some food. Again, it's important that food is no longer in our hand. We are marking the behavior of touching our hand and then rewarding him after the fact. And that's how we're gonna use, that's how we're gonna continue to use this clicker through the rest of his training. Good. Movement is important. Good. Good boy. I'm gonna get a couple more here. Again, I can't stress this enough. We are not baiting or luring him anymore. There's nothing in my hand, but he's so used to coming and eating something that he's willing to come up and check it out. And then we're marking the second his nose touches my hand. We can get a close up on this here. Good. You're gonna see him come across as soon as he touches my hand, he's starting to lick there a little bit. Um, 
as soon as he touched my hand, we clicked. Now, timing is very, very important in the beginning stages of this and any clicker training, but timing is very important in your training in general. So, good. Good boy. Now, as he gets good at this, which he's getting it figured out pretty quick, we're gonna start to incorporate a cue. Here, good. We wanna hold that till just the last second. And again, you need to be confident that he's gonna come in and touch your hand. Here, good. Now, my timing was off just a little bit in that. I want him to hear the word right before he touches my hand, and then the click's going to happen. So, the sequence will be cue, here, touching my hand, and then he gets the reward. So we'll do that one more time and see if I can get it right. Here, good. He's gonna start to anticipate that that here means come in and touch a hand and I'm gonna get rewarded. We'll eventually move away from the food or treats. Here, good. Here, good boy. But we're starting to develop a really good behavior of coming in and touching her hand, as well as Sprig is learning how to work. He's, he's understanding that if I complete these tasks, I get rewarded for that, and that's gonna be transferred through the rest of his life. Good. All right, here. Good boy. I'll do a few more reps here. We've got about half of his meal down. Here, good boy. Again, it's the cue, he touches my hand, and then he hears that click at that same time to mark that he's touching my hand. Here, good boy. You can see how fast he's picking up on this. He's almost picked up speed coming across the floor. Here, good boy. That's what we're talking about. Here, good boy, Sprig. Yeah, that's really good. Here. Good. Now, one thing that's easy to do that I wanna warn you against is when he comes in, you push your hand into his nose. That's helping too much. And we wanna make sure that he's actually doing it himself. And one way that if you feel like you're, you're having trouble getting past that, sometimes when I've got a dog that's as consistent as he's being already, I will put my hand down, make sure I've got his attention and not look. He didn't touch my hand that time, so we didn't mark. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. And then mark as soon as I feel that. So we're relying on the touch and then marking that. That's gonna help you to know, is your timing on or off? Or if you put your hand down and he doesn't come touch it, then you know that you're probably helping a little bit too much. Here, good boy, good boy. Now we're gonna do one more and get a jackpot for him. So we're gonna actually take the rest of his food here. We've done a bunch of really good reps and we're gonna help give him the rest of his food by doing just one more good one here. Good boy. And then he can eat the rest of his kibble. So that is Target here. Uh, he's doing a great job. He's got a great foundation with that. We will continue to rep that over the next few sessions. And when he is solid, we're gonna to start to build the distance that he's having to cover. And then from there, we will move into our next behavior. As we learn each thing, we're gonna do them independently of each other. We're only gonna work on one thing in each session. Once he's got those things mastered, shows a very strong understanding, then we'll start to incorporate them all together. So thank you guys for watching and keeping up with Sprig's progress. If you'd like, make sure to not miss any of the videos by following us on Instagram, liking our Facebook page, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Make sure to turn notifications on so that you get all of his new content, and as well as have the ability not to miss out on any of the great giveaways that we're gonna be upcoming with. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.